Hi, I'm Gavin Blitzscher. I'm a technical specialist and STEM consultant here at Robotis. Uh, and today I'm going to be going over one of the things that I feel sets Robotis apart uh, in many ways from a lot of other servo companies, and that would be our frame system. Uh, we designed frames uh, for the Dynamixel specifically to make them easily attachable to other Dynamixels, um, as well as giving solid mounting points. Um, uh, for example, you know, you can see it in uh, our Robotis Mini, the humanoid. You can see some frames right there, if my camera will focus. Uh, right there, right there. This is attaching two Dynamixel servos together to make a kind of pan tilt motor. Um, you can see it in our engineer kit. This is the Spy. This is using two XL 430s. Um, and this is giving this mounting right here as a frame, giving it a rigid mounting to uh, the body, as well as a complex joint right here. Uh, this isn't a frame, but it's just something very cool. Uh, here is a frame for our AX series. Uh, this is to allow you to mount a, uh, another Dynamixel to the face of this, um, and then these, this would mount to the horn right here. Or you could just mount it to uh, any sort of face. Uh, and then this is another frame uh, for our uh, X series. Uh, it include, this is a set, so it includes the idler needed to make uh, the frames function. Um, what I will say is that um, our naming convention can be a little opaque for those of you that don't understand, um, but I'm hoping to give you guys uh, a guide so that you guys can get the best possible results. All right, here we are on the Robotis US, or excuse me, yes, the Robotis US web store. I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to parts, um, and from here I'm going to go ahead and select frames. This is how I would naturally go about finding this resource. I'm just going to click this random frame here, scroll down, and you'll see right here compatibility guide. When I click this, we're going to be going into a, uh, another website hosted by Robotis, and this is going to give you um, a, a table that tells you what frames go with what Dynamixels. Um, and from this you can start to see a pattern emerge. Um, you know, the 12 associates with the um, XM series, the FR12 associates with the X series. So let's take a look at the, the FR12 uh, I101K set. Um, so the check mark means that it's compatible, and as you can see it works with the XL, the XM and the XH. So all the series, the X series Dynamixels are standard ones. I don't believe that it works with the uh, XC series. Um, that's a that's a different one. Uh, this is the HN1011 uh, I101 set, and you can see it only works with the XL430. Um, here's the HN13. This is the the set that works with the XM. Um, and you can kind of get an association. So HN13, HN11, HN12, basically what, what, how it works is that uh, the 13 means that it is from, works with the XM series, um, and then the 11 means that it works with the X series of Dynamixels. Um, so uh, HN in this case, uh, to give you a little more information, means horn and N, um, is referring to the fact that it's a normal horn. H in here and then followed by an I means that it's an idler, meaning that it doesn't tie directly to the output shaft. Um, if you go down, you can see this says uh, the FR12H uh, H set, um, and that means that it has all everything that you would need inside of it. Uh, the FR refers to the frame, and the H refers to the horn. Um, in addition to the compatibility guide, there's two other um, resources that I think would be very helpful for you to, to know about. Um, one of them being our e-manual here, uh, emanual.robotis.com. If you go to any X-Series or, or any Dynamixel, not just X-Series, um, when you click on them, let's go with the XL430 um, and go to how to assemble and then option um, frame assembly. Um, it shows you how our frames actually get bolted on um, and gives you a guide on that. Um, so you can see all of this. Uh, and, and the last resource that I think is actually very important for you to know about um, is our, uh, comes from our Technical Resource Center um, right here. 
Um, so under support technical resource, um, you can find the Robotis uh, download center right here. Uh, this is from en.robotis, the same place that had the compatibility guide. Uh, and here you can go in and you can get all of the CAD, CAD models for our, um, our servos right here. Um, this is all of our, uh, our uh, Dynamixels, I believe the uh, X series, M series, MX, AX, uh, all of our legacy things are here too in both the um, PDF of the drawing file as well as the step in the IGES files. Um, and then here is the CAD files and drawing files for the frames that you can use. Um, it's a super useful uh, uh, resource if you wanted to model things in 3D or know the dimensions of part or how something would fit before you were to purchase them. All right, uh, so that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that uh, Dynamics of Selection Guide in the comments below. Um, if you have any other videos that you would like to see, please leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll see if we can get around to making those videos. Um, uh, we have a Facebook group that you can follow at Robotis America. We also have a TikTok under the same name. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And I, I hope you have a fantastic day.